When the patient attends the nuclear medicine department for a PET scan, they are greeted by the nuclear medicine practitioner, who may be a radiographer, a nuclear medicine technologist, or a nurse. The practitioner takes the patient into the nuclear medicine clinical area. This is a radiation supervised area because radioactive sources are used and so entry is limited to staff, patients and essential accompanying people. PET stands for positron emission tomography. It is carried out in a separate area within the nuclear medicine department because it requires additional radiation shielding. In the PET room, the practitioner checks the patient's identification to make sure that she has the correct person and she asks the patient about his symptoms. Then she explains what will happen during the test and answers any questions that he may have about it. The practitioner swabs the patient's arm and then inserts a needle into a vein. This will be used to give an injection later. The injection is kept in a lead box and the syringe is shielded with lead in order to protect the practitioner's fingers from the radiation. The syringe contains a chemical that mimics glucose metabolism with a radioactive marker attached to it. This is called a radiopharmaceutical. It is injected through the needle that is already in place. Then the patient rests for a while to give time for the radiopharmaceutical to distribute in his body. The radiopharmaceutical will show any areas of high energy usage, so it is important for the patient to keep still so that muscle uptake doesn't confuse the pictures. This resting period takes about one hour. Then the patient goes to the toilet in order to get rid of any radiopharmaceutical in his bladder. This is the PET scanner that will take pictures of where the radiopharmaceutical has gone in the patient's body. The patient is made comfortable on the imaging couch and then moved into the scanner. The hole in the scanner is quite large and the machine doesn't make any loud noises, unlike an MRI scanner. Because x-rays will also be used, the practitioner now has to leave the room but she can still observe the patient from the control room through a lead glass window. First, a short x-ray CT scan is acquired. This gives good anatomical information which helps to locate any abnormalities seen on the PET scan. A PET scan of the whole body is acquired by moving the bed in a series of steps. The bed stops at each position for about five minutes to take a picture and then moves on to the next position. During the whole of the scan, the practitioner watches the patient and can talk to them through a microphone. After about 20 minutes, the scan is finished and the patient is free to leave the department.